of your boss's monotone already have you dreaming about the weekend even though it's only Monday? It is time to fall back in love with your job. Romancing your career is on our to-do list. You're a punctual guy. You know the importance of being here right at 6 a.m. We have all had experiences like this, and it can cause us to lose interest in our jobs. We are witnessing another uh, era of disenchantment where the, the pressures of efficiency, and now uh, in the past few years, also the quantification of everything, constant monitoring of our performance, this has really led to uh, people feeling disenfranchised, feeling alienated. But this doesn't need to be the case anymore. Author of the business romantic Tim Lebrecht gives us three rules of enchantment to fall back in love with our jobs. Number one, make the familiar strange. Create a little bit of discomfort and add newness. Try switching desks and if you really feel brave, switch roles. Keep us on our toes and at the same time make the experience uh, new again and fresh again. Number two, create deeper connections. We spend more than 70-75% of our waking hours at work so I think we have a great interest in making our relationships at work meaningful. Take your relationships to the next level by taking it outside of the conference room. Have dinners um, and talk actually about uh, topics outside of work. And the third way to romance your job, add a little mystery. Do something surprising. Even companies are embracing this idea. Freestyle! holding meetings in the dark and creating groups in charge of bringing happiness and surprises to the work environment. I think we have every right to expect more from work in terms of delivering a richer, more emotional, more fulfilling experience. Getting that loving feeling back for your career is on our to-do list.